my happy people how are you today so today we're talking about what to say to a returned vanisher so a vanisher that is someone who you used to text or you used to talk to and everything was going so well and you went on a date and you had been texting for several weeks and then all of a sudden they MIA on that ass so that's what we're talking about today Today we're going to explore the infinite options of what to say to a newborn, newly reformed, returned vanisher. So a returned vanisher, of course I'm sure you guys know, is someone who just kind of drops off the face of the earth unexpectedly. Wait, what? <laughs> a returned vanisher? What does newborn even mean? Like, how does, what does that, what does a newborn even have to do with anything? newborn i i actually don't know i just kind of made that up from the spot i don't know moving on the first thing i would do is not take it personally like i definitely wouldn't take it personally like if he ghosted you and just kind of like fell off the face of the earth and just like stopped responding don't take it personally I mean, if he texts you and says something like, hey, how are you doing? Then I guess you could say, um, good, having a great week. How are you? I've been waiting for you to text me back. I just, I just, I can't believe you texted me back. I'm so glad. Or you could just ask him to give you a call or just call him. Call him instead. It's, it, that's way better if you call him and just kind of like tell him you know how much you've missed him this whole time yeah that's that's all I've got this last one kind of just says you could you could just you could just keep talking to him or something I don't know so let me get this straight you want me to not take it personally when a douche face literally ghosts me for no apparent reason at all and like doesn't even say anything he doesn't even bother sending an email like you could at least send me an email you could at least send me an email <laughs> not 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 gonna happen I don't I, like so I see you guys I see this videos all the time and I see this on Google and I see this everywhere on uh, how to treat vanishers that come back or what to say to vanishers that come, that come back ghosters that come back it makes no sense to me it makes no sense to me I would say and suggest that no one listen to all that bull crap like literally it's I'm gonna keep it real with you guys okay we're gonna keep it 100 okay right now this is one of the topics that just gets to me because it, it just makes no sense well the first thing that you could actually say to a coward who ghosts you out of nowhere for no apparent reason uh, is this it's like if a guy doesn't even care enough about you or respect your time as a human being to actually send a text message just telling you and letting you know like hey I want to go out on other dates and kind of see what else is out there uh, you know so that's where I'm at right now if he can't even let you know that then what purpose does he serve? Like, what kind of man is that? Like, that is not a person that you need around you, and it's not a person that you need in your life. So if this person has ghosted you and all of a sudden returns, the first thing you could do is literally say nothing, say nada, say dilch, zilch, dilch. That's not even a word. Nothing. Literally run the opposite direction because that is a guy that does not respect your time, and it's a guy that's totally not even worth it. Okay, like, you need to... <laughs> double be gone just run the opposite direction it drives me crazy when all these so-called self self-professed love experts give you advice and say not to take it personally or say oh well just ask them what they're doing like who gives a crap how they're doing or what they're doing like you've been gone for like three months I don't get it 
When a ghoster actually ghosts you, what they're actually telling you is that they don't respect you. They don't respect your time and they don't respect who you are as a being. And that says a lot about them as a human being. You don't want to have to put up with someone that doesn't respect other human beings and doesn't, doesn't respect their time. They feel like they're the only ones on planet Earth and they're the, their time is the only time that matters. They're totally inconsiderate. So when someone actually ghosts you and doesn't even bother responding and then just kind of comes back out of nowhere, whether it's been like a, a week or two weeks or three weeks, a week two weeks three weeks okay but um, anything past like the two to three week mark is unacceptable like when someone just kind of like goes off the grid like that even for a week it's it just kind of makes you wonder because it brings a lot of psychological turmoil in your head and as a woman that has gone through it like I've been ghosted one time so I know like what that's like I know what it, what it's like to sit at home thinking uh, what did I do what's going on is he gonna text me no 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 do not do it okay because the truth of the matter is that it's not you it's this person who has no regard for anybody else's time but his own time and doesn't know how to respect others and even more importantly doesn't respect you so there's no reason to keep someone like that around in your life not at all so that would be the first thing that you could do is double ghost that ass go find something better there's other better fish healthier fish in the sea i know it's easier said than done but the last thing you want to do is be stuck with someone that you're going to be miserable with and i don't understand why these love self-proclaimed gurus give you advice otherwise i read it online i say it on youtube and it makes no sense to me it's like oh just say this no say nothing okay double ghost that ass like literally say nothing <laughs> understand why the self-proclaimed dating gurus give advice that isn't good advice and another thing that I never understood is like why us as women take advice from men like sometimes even when they find it they still don't know what the hell they want it takes them a minute but like it takes it a minute for, for it to register to them 97% of them that are like self-proclaimed and try to say that they're experts and love experts like they've never felt what it's like from a woman's perspective to actually go through being ghosted and go through that term and go through having to like question yourself and question your whole being and whether or not you're you're good enough so they just kind of speak and say well this is what you should do as though we need to cater to them and actually treat them like babies when what we're looking for are men it makes no sense it makes no sense and we keep listening to them so we keep giving them our money and we keep giving them our time and our attention and so it keeps the ghosters alive it makes no sense so if you really really feel like responding in 2018 everyone gets offended if this guy is someone that you really really like because when it happened to me this was a guy that I really really liked he was a doctor whatever someone that you really really feel like you just have to respond to and you want to respond to then you could respond uh, the second thing that I would say if you just feel like you have to respond to this douchebag who ghosted you and you just don't want to like double ghost his ass because you want to find out what happened you could respond so what i would say in response to this like text message it doesn't even matter this this would this works regardless of what it is that he says to you and here's another thing to keep in mind there's not much he can say to you after ghosting you he's gonna say hi how have you been or hi how are you that's it there's not much else he can say when he goes to you and then tries to come back a couple of weeks later there's nothing else he can say even a week is too long guys from a guy who's really interested in you you're not gonna go a week without hearing from him you're just not just like I've been ghosted I've been with I've talked to guys that are have been interested as well and I know what that looks like you just compare the two you can see that so what you want to say verbatim I don't want you changing a single word out of this like not a single word okay you need to like put on your big girl panties and grow some you know uh, bowels and and really just say this oh hi Casper the ghost winky face period that's it don't say anything else don't even respond to the question that they asked you how are you they don't need to know how you are if they cared they, they wouldn't have ghosted you so when they come back like and make sure to put that winky face emoji either the winky face emoji or the emoji with the tongue sticking out because it's funny okay so there's two reasons for actually sending this very specific and short response first of all you call that ass out you call them out like grow some balls 
put on your big girl panties and call them out literally right from the gate you call them out and it's funny you know it's like Casper the ghost because because you know you kind of disappeared and now you're back you're back the man's respect right so when someone ghosts you and this could go either way but when someone ghosts you they are essentially telling you that they don't respect you and what you need to do is demand that respect because you cannot be with someone or you don't want to end up being with someone that doesn't respect you and when you call them out on that behavior then they are forced to either a explain themselves and address the elephant in the room right off the bat or uh, B just not say anything and if they don't say anything then they're not really about that life I don't see you at like it's there's no point like why do they even come back like they need to come back and if they're coming back they need to come back and explain themselves there's no reason to ghost anyone in 2018 when sending a text message sent like takes less than a millisecond like be a decent human being send a damn text message grow some balls grow some balls so um uh, so they, they just need to be decent human beings and send a text message letting you know if, if they are trying to date other people or what it is that they're trying to do so that you don't have to sit at home wondering and driving yourself crazy because it will drive you crazy. And I know this, guys. I know this. I've been there. Like one of the most terrible experiences ever. Don't say anything else. Trust me. Trust me. And if you can, wait a couple of hours before responding to that text message because you don't want him thinking that, oh, he, he could just like come back and text you and, and everything's all good. No, no, that's not how we roll over here, okay? We don't roll with ghosters. We don't roll with ghosters. No ghosters. No ghosters. <laughs> no ghosters allowed. Those type of guys irritate the crap out of me, right? But still, if you want to still talk to them, that's fine. But call them out call that ass out don't be scared to call them out i mean if th they'll be fine right if they want to talk to you then they need to come out with some other explanation and then you can decide how you want to proceed from there uh and then if they do it again even after that then let let it go let it go let okay i'm not gonna put you guys to do that but i love that song that let it go uh disney song especially uh the cover by lisa cara but let it go after that but uh, if you really feel like you have to text that would be the second advice that I would have for you well in most cases explain that ass like he would explain he will explain I like I really like ass that's crazy he will explain himself to you there's just no way like you don't just go someone and then decide that you want to come back it, it makes no sense and in today's day and age it seems to be becoming a thing that's just rampant and I don't understand what why like why is this even an issue why is this a problem like if you're a decent human being, you grow some balls and you kind of let people know what's going on. That's just what people do. If you're direct about it, it will also lead to him respecting you. Like, he will respect you a lot more. Whether he likes it or not, whether he wants to respond to it or not, he'll respect you and he'll respect your time. And he'll know, like, you can't just, like, disappear and come back like nothing happened. Like, I'm here. Like, I was here when you left and you ghosted me the first time. So... What, what are you, a magician? I don't understand. <laughs> Be strong, respect yourself, and respect your time. Period. And if you are strong, you respect yourself, and you respect your time, there's no way you won't call him out on that type of behavior. If he wants your time again, if he wants your attention again, then he needs to work twice as hard for it. And that's just kind of the reality of it. And if he, like, guys men appreciate what it is that they work for men and women actually like if the, the harder they work for something the more they appreciate it it's just human nature it's human dynamics and so if he comes back and he's easily able to start talking to you again there's a 95 percent chance that he will ghost you again i kid you not he will do it again but if you make him work twice as hard for it after ghosting you the first time because and and you send that text message that i told you earlier and he explains himself and now he has to work twice as hard for it it's a lot less likely to happen again now ghosters are kind of known for that type of behavior right so when if it happens to you don't think that it's just you they are known for that type of behavior and they think they can keep getting away with it so they keep doing it but just do that try that 
that's it folks that's all I got those are the only two advices that I have to give like all these other videos and all these other Google responses and, and all these this other stuff that has all these like lists of things that you should say now forget that when someone ghosts you don't even put in that much effort for this person like they haven't even earned that there's no just forget that so uh, that's all I have those are the two only advices that I that I've got to give that's all I've got that's all I've got that's all I got that's all I got <laughs> crazy this is ridiculous I feel like there's so many men out there that try to give women dating advice and it's like you, the advice you give is all catering towards you and it's like so now we have to cater towards you and treat you like children I don't get it I don't get it is it puns or pun no pun intended no puns intended whatever we'll ghost them or call that ass out those are the two things that I would say that's it that's all I've got that's all the energy you need to exert which is way more energy than they deserve anyway on someone who ghosted you in the first place. We all did just one of these two things that I mentioned earlier in the video. There would be no more ghosters. They would, they, there would be zero ghosters. They would all be ghost. There, there would be no ghosters left. We wouldn't even have to worry about this problem, especially females. Like, females, if a ghoster ghosts you, don't even give them the time of day. And this is how we get rid of this epidemic of ghosters. Just don't even. Don't even deal with it. And the more we don't even deal with it and don't give them the time of day, the less of these ridiculous don't even don't even deal with it if we all did this there would be no ghosters we wouldn't even have to worry about this subscribe comment below let me know what you think and i will catch you guys in the next video bye bye